Hey, how do you say this word? Oh, chipotle. 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 All right, this one? Oh, that's caramel. 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 I don't even know what you're saying anymore. How about this one? Potato. Potato? Potato. How about tomato? Tomato. Oh, I can't even anymore. Mozzarella. <laughs> what? Hey everyone, welcome to the lab. We are so excited that you decided to tune in with us today. We have an awesome show in store for you. That's right. I am Kelsey, this is Kieran, and like he said, we have amazing things planned for you uh, today. We do. But did you know that we are on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube? Yeah, yeah we are. You can find us at The Lab Kids, and we have amazing activities for you and your family to do together. It's awesome. Speaking of awesome, Kieran, do you know that we actually go live every Tuesday at 1 p.m.? So make sure you tune in, youtube.com slash the lab kids, and we will be doing some uh, pretty awesome things. I wonder how Kelsey's doing after eating that pretty disgusting salad. Uh, what do you mean? I'm right here, and I can tell you, that salad was awful. Yeah, I know, it did look pretty awful. It made me feel a little bit sick. But she was determined to keep going. Speaking of determined, do you know what determination means? Uh, I do actually, Kieran. It means it's deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Yeah, and we have the perfect verse that actually talks more about this determination thing. Mm -hmm. So let's read it together. It says this, let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we do not give up. Galatians 6, 9. Now, Kieran, that's perfect for your can do an 8 or 3,000. Wait, 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 wait. Uh-uh, no, I'm not Kieran. I don't need that for my can do it an 8 or 3,000. You're Kieran, and you need it for your can do it an 8 or 3,000. Uh, I'm not Kieran. Uh, yeah, you are, because I'm not Kieran. You're not Kieran. Where is Kieran? This is an emergency. Ryan, you need to grab our book. We have a book that covers any single emergency you can ever think of. So we need to find the page that tells us what we need to do when we lose Kieran. The Emergency Preparedness Manual SOS. Save us soon. Was Kieran in the cupboard? He was not. Oh. I did check. I did check. Oh, now, no. you said this was for every single emergency. Now, this one talks about if a hurricane were to happen, now we are in Edmonton, probably not going to happen, but it, it's always good to be prepared. What about that one where we miss Austin? Yes, it's right here. Okay, uh, okay. It. This one is when you drink too much coffee. I love coffee. <laughs> I know you do, and we're just going to book with that, because we'll need that one for later. All right, all right, all right, all right. This one is when the lab rats attack. And Where's Kieran? Ah, there it is. Ah. It would be at the front. It would be at the front. Because it's an occurring emergency. Now, it says, where's Kieran? Follow these five easy steps. Whoa, 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 whoa. Five easy steps? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Wait. Kieran can count. That's good. You know what that means, right? Yes, I do. Let's say it together. One, a two, and a three. Montage. Montage. All right, the first step. Yodel. 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 Okay, but well, let's try step two. Lay up food. And some lots of stations. Real food, I taste it. Lots of food stations. Oh, Skittles. Oh, Skittles. I'm gonna save a couple of these for myself later. Oh, there's power. Laying out Kieran. 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 Nope. All right, step three. Check his hiding spots. Where is hiding spots? I think I have some ideas. Kieran, is that you over there? No, that's just a bird. Adding spots, spots. Kieran, you out here? You know, spots inverted actually says root. Kieran! Kieran! Kieran? Kieran, you're out here, buddy? Kieran! 
not Karen. Karen! Karen! Where are you at? Nope. Karen! Karen? Karen! Oh. Not here. All right, well, none of those steps worked. Ryan, what's uh, step number four? Call and text him. All right, I'll text you. Want to call? I'll call him. seconds and he hasn't answered me yet. Leave a voice message after the beep. Beep! He didn't answer me either. Oh, and no one leaves voice messages anymore. Oh dear. Well, what do we do now? I think it's time for the dance team. So we're going to sing and we're going to worship together. So everybody stand on up to your feet. Dance team, take it away. Like I'm trekking through the jungle Or hiking Mount Kilimanjaro It's like I'm deep sea diving with my fishy friends It's never boring when we're exploring It's like I'm on a roller coaster ride Or rushing down on a water slide In the wild you will be my guide On this adventure of a lifetime This adventure of a Lifetime war a blast. Thank yeah. you for dancing along and worshiping with us. Now. Hey, you dance team. But we still don't know where Karen is. Yes, we do not know where Karen is. It has been a whole 30 minutes since he has texted me and I'm starting to freak out a little bit. We need to cancel the lab. Can't do it without him. So everyone will see you next week. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Cut the music. We can't cancel the lab. We've been talking about determination. And we right. have to be determined to keep going. Okay. And get this. I'm just going to flip the page. Step five. We missed a step. Oh, my word. We missed a step? Check the workshop. The workshop? How could we forget that? The workshop. But where even is the workshop? I mean, no one knows. But let's check it out. All right. Use your snapping ability, maybe. Hold up. 
You mean to tell me that the workshop was 10 feet away the, the whole time? I have to say I'm shocked, I'm confused. I'm disappointed that we still haven't found Kieran yet. This manual has not helped us at all. Hey, Kelsey, Ryan, over here on the computer. Oh, the TV. Hey, I came over to this new space to try and get my head in the game to continue to do what I can do now that I can do it and there's no more. And so I'm super excited about it. And I was getting ready and then all of a sudden my phone started blowing up. I got a whole bunch of texts from Kelsey and I think I got a phone call. So sorry about that. Uh, is there something up? Yeah, Kieran, that's okay. I mean, we just had a lot of questions. Yeah, like, uh, well, where are you? How's the can do going? Did you make 31 people happy? Just so many questions. We even followed your manual. I know. Well, you know what? I can answer all of those questions as we talk about today's story. It's found in the Book of Acts, Chapter 8. And we're going to be using a special flannel board to show the story. So take a look. This guy right here is Philip. He was one of the earlier followers of Jesus and sometimes is called Philip the Evangelist because he went all over telling people about the good news of Jesus. So Philip was walking around one day and one day an angel appeared and spoke to him. Walking and I'm walking and I'm walking. <laughs> Philip, huh? Whoa! Oh, what's up angel? Go south to the desert road. Which one? Oh, you know the one that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza? Oh, that one. Thanks, Angel. No problem. Bye. And I'm walking, and I'm walking. So Philip went where the angel commanded him. And as he was walking, he met an official who worked for the queen of Ethiopia, who was on a trip back to his home from Jerusalem. And I'm walking, and I'm walking, and I'm walking, and I'm walking. The Ethiopian official was reading from the book of Isaiah. Many years earlier, Isaiah had been given a grand vision of the future. But the problem was is that a lot of it was hard to understand, especially if you don't have a teacher. Now, the Ethiopian official had a choice. He could make the decision to give up, or he could keep going and understand. And that's what he chose to do, to ask these questions to Philip. What's that? You want me to walk over to that chariot? Okay. And I'm walking to the, I'm here. He was led like a sheep to be killed. Just as lambs are silent while their wool is being cut off, he did not open his mouth. What does that mean? Hello. Do you understand what you're reading? How can I? It's talking about sheep and wool. I need someone to explain it to me. Can you? I think I can help you. All right. Well, come over here and sit beside me on my chariot. Beside you? Okay. <laughs> A great <laughs> leap. Don't forget your glasses. Uh, right, watch my horse. Whoa, horsies. Uh, no reason, I'm just gonna squat down a little. All right. <laughs> I'm almost there. Yeah. I'm almost great. there. I can, there you go. Just push you around. There you go. Ah, that is amazing. Ah, great job. Ah, easy peasy. Philip told the Ethiopian God's plan that for hundreds of years, he had planned to send Jesus to the world so that anybody who wants to can come and be saved and know him. Well, here we are on the back of this chariot. It's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Get up, Bessie. Will, do you have any questions for me? Is Isaiah the prophet talking about himself or someone else? Is he the sheep led to be killed? Well, actually, Isaiah is talking about someone else who will come much later. Someone who will die as a sacrifice for all of our sins. Tell me, have you heard of the man Jesus? No. Oh, well, let me tell you all about him. The Ethiopian official heard this news and was so moved that when they came to body of water, look, here's some water. What can stop me from being baptized? Nothing. Let's go to the water. <laughs> Horses away. So Philip baptized the man right then and there. All right, are you ready for this? Yes, let's do it. Okay, here we go. <gasps> And 
And after they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away. Whoa! Where is the Spirit taking me? Whoa! Whoa! Impressive. <laughs> the end. What I love about the story is how both Philip and the Ethiopian man show determination. Philip was told by the angel to go and to go somewhere he'd never been before. And I'm sure he would have been confused. But you know what? He chose to stick to it because he knew that God had a plan for his stay that day. And so he went. The Ethiopian man pressed on what he wanted. He knew that his questions shouldn't stop him from seeking something incredible, which he then received by getting baptized. Now I have a confession. This month, I spent a lot of time on the can nader You know what I realized is that it isn't about the can nader It isn't about the machine I can build or this grand vision of something I can do. But it's about following God's voice every single day. I had all sorts of questions for myself, but you know what? God knew. He knew every single day what was needed to do. And so while I was spending all of my time trying to figure out how to make this thing, God knew that, hey, you can come and follow my voice and I will show you what to do today, even when the world turns upside down. And so this week, I spent a lot of time just hearing where you had for me that day, not looking for making a machine or that can do amazing things, but knowing that God can do amazing things through me each and every day. And so I came home ready to hear how God would use me today. You know what? Those 31 people that I tried to be making happy this whole month blew it out of the water. Not even trying. Because it's not about trying to make all these people happy. It's about trying to listen to where God is leading you today. Even when you have questions, even when you're unsure, even when the world is turned upside down and it's a pandemic, God knows where he's leading you today. But that's all the time I have for now. Today God's been telling me that I'm going to go try and be a good big brother. So, I'll see you all. Wow, Kieran. Fun. Thank you. You know, I was not really understanding what our bottom line was today, and, and that's to keep going even when you have questions. But you know, Philip, he didn't know what to expect. And the Ethiopian, he asked for what he needed. They both had questions, and all they did was ask. And you know, Ryan and I, we are also able to ask. We're able to ask God, we're able to ask the Holy Spirit questions when, you know, we don't quite know what's going on and we're able to trust Him because He can give us the answers that we need. And to you at home, I'm sure you've had tons of questions this month as well, but you are also able to ask the Holy Spirit these questions. You're able to trust Him and He will give you the answers that you need. Right, Ryan? Exactly. And this kind of reminds me of something. I want to show you something really quickly. So can you just move the Bible and the lab rat out of the way? And I got these two jars here and they represent us. These jars represent you and me. And they kind of represent what happens when our life, when our situation kind of gets turned upside down. When life just doesn't go the way that we thought, that we planned. And so right here, I'll fill up this cup. And this is what happens when we try to do it ourselves. You know, we're trying to do life on our own. We're trying to figure it all out. You know, we're not asking questions. We're not asking for advice. You know, we're not relying on the Holy Spirit to help us. We, we forget what he's done in our life, in our family's life. And we're just kind of doing it all alone. And we're not, we're not asking questions. And this is what happens when our life gets turned upside down. Nothing, nothing sticks in. All the water that's in there, it all just comes out all comes out. It's making a little bit of a mess and that's what happens. Yeah. That's what happens. But when we do rely on the Holy Spirit to help us, when we do remember what he has done and we are obedient and we choose to trust him, when we do and we're filled up with love, we're filled up with peace, we're filled up with, you know, where God is in control. We have the fruit of the Spirit in us. And when all of a sudden our situation gets rocked, we're okay. It's all okay. It doesn't spill out. It doesn't spill out. Because we know God is in control, that God loves us. And when those tough situations happen, we know He is there for us. So, right now, I'm just gonna pray for all of us. 
So would you bow your heads, close your eyes, and zip your lips, and let's pray along with me. God, thank you so much for what you've done here this month. God, I thank you for what you've done. God, I thank you for who you are. And God, would you go before us this week and this month? I thank you for determination. You know, help us to keep going, no matter what is going on in our life. In, in our homes, I pray for all those families and those kids that are watching right now. Would you be with them? Would you remind them of who you are? No matter what they're going through, the good, the bad, or the ugly, God, you are there with them. And so God, would you be there? Would you show yourself to them and would you give them peace? Would you remind them of who you are? And so God, we love you and we thank you. And for those kids at home that are wanting to start a relationship, a friendship with you, God, would they pray this prayer along with me? God, we love you. We know who you are. We know that you sent your son to die on the cross for me, for us. And God, we thank you that you forgive us and we know we've done wrong things, but you, by sending your son on the cross for us, you forgive us. So God, we wanna enter a relationship, a friendship with you forever. Amen. Amen. Well, everyone at home, thank you so much for tuning in this month as we learned about determination and that it's deciding it's worth it to finish what you've started. And so make sure you tune back in next week as we start our new theme called Focus. Focus. So we will see you later. Bye bye. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. We are so excited that you have been here. Tyler and I, we just went for a bike ride, right? Thumbs up? Awesome, double thumbs up. Well, make sure you tune in the next week because we have awesome stuff coming towards you. Also, make sure you check out our discussion questions that are gonna be coming up in a second. Make sure you're also following us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. We have lots of fun stuff, just like YouTube Live, which is this Tuesday at 1 p.m. Last thing is that there are some devos in the description down below, so make sure you check those out this week and have some devotions with your family. Tyler, we're gonna go take the rest of the bike ride, right? Yeah? Can you say bye to the people? Say bye, everybody. Say bye, everybody. Have a great week.